What's the difference between E.T. and a refugee? E.T. learned English and wanted to go home. That's right, it's a Saturday, you're back here with a bit of truth. Let's just hope the asylum seekers haven't ruined it for you yet. Now, speaking of the Dover discoverers, let's check back in and see what's happening. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The Liverpool owner of the asylum barge, the old Bibs, has been awarded £20 million to build a new vessel. Oh my god. God, what about the current one? You know, the one that we spent hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pounds on? It's not even being used? You know, the same one that was supposed to hold the Dover discoverers that came over here on a small boat, yet are too scared of water to get onto this one? Why are we giving more money to these crooks? Somebody is getting a backhander here, for sure. And I don't mean one of those. Anyway, why is there a no parking sign on the side of it? Nothing to see here. Anyway, in more news about the Dover discoverers, migrants will now face MRI scans to stop men posing as children. Yes, new measures will permit the use of scientific age experiments to prevent adults making false claims. Why? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious that a man who has a thicker beard than I do with tattoos who stands at over six foot, is clearly not a child. Who's paying for this? Who? Oh, us. We are paying for it again. Well, that's until the lefty lawyers swoop in with their human rights and stop this all from happening again at an expense to who? Oh, yes, us. Typical. There's now been a massive blow to the Rwanda migrant plan as its first flight has now been set to be delayed until December. Of course, and then once December comes, it will be then delayed to whenever. And then when whenever comes, it will be delayed to whenever after that. It's all full of shit. We're going to see the lefties strap themselves to the front wheels of the plane just for them to stay in the country, for them to possibly commit more crimes, just like I brought to you just the other week. They are taking the piss out of us to the tune of £7 million a day. Just remember that. While you're hard at work just to pay for your inflated mortgage or your rent that keeps rising, your energy, your car, your insurance, your food and everything else, these lot are living it up in five-star hotels, which you can't holiday in now, even if you could afford it. Anyway, they're getting it for free, paid for by you. Well, and you're welcome, by the way. Now, speaking of the government, let's check in on them again. Rishi Sunak say he is fired up and wants to be PM until 2030. Oh, pissy offy Rishi. You'll be lucky to last another seven days, let alone another seven years. You're a joke. Can anyone tell me anything positive that he's done since coming into unelected power? Okay, yeah, didn't think so. Don't worry though, I still prefer him over that Kier. Why in a country of 60 million plus people, we have these two idiots that are making all of the decisions? We are screwed. We've got fears more councils will go bust. Brilliant, just what we needed. I'm the head of your local council. Don't worry, we will just waste your money. We will then go bankrupt and you'll just end up having to suffer and then pay more. So we can repeat the cycle over and over again. Vote for me. Look at these fucking figures. What the hell are these people doing? You'd expect them to be fired for screwing up so badly, wouldn't you? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's never gonna happen. Fire them? You're having a laugh, right? Bosses at five councils facing bankruptcy are pocketing more pay than the PM. Yes, council fat cats are taking 100,000 pounds more than the PM. Yes, head of five councils facing bankruptcy are getting paid more than the president. This is just really taking the fucking piss. What is going on? Please, can, can anyone explain this to me? Please. Nope. So what else are MPs doing? Groups of MPs and peers say that drivers should be fined for going just one mile an hour over the speed limit. Oh, piss off. Not everyone gets driven around by a fucking chauffeur. Everybody, let's all drive around with our foot on the brake, looking at the speedometer at all times, instead of looking at the road. Most police forces have a tolerance of 10% plus two miles an hour, but screw it. This will now be removed. Drive safely. 
Anyway, in more crime, as we love crime on this show, it's an abundance of fun, a violent thief broke a shopkeeper's jaw after stealing a crate of lager. Yes, well done to this complete weapon who thought he could not only steal, but inflict violence upon this poor man. This guy needed two titanium plates inserted just to save his face. And guess what he got for this horrific crime? Go on, take a guess. Yes, yes, no, you're wrong. Two years imprisonment, suspended for two years. Oh, for fuck's sake, not that again. In more shop crimes, an adult shop with UK's largest dodo collection has been attacked by balaclava clad bikers. Yes, these guys needed to add to their collection of 14 inches being massive cockerels themselves. Yes, police probing, probing? Anyway, police probing the attacks have released the CCT footage of the two masked men dressed all in black. Just to note, this is the fifth time that they've been attacked in a matter of months. You never steal from a smaller independent business. Anyway, keeping on with shop crimes as it's rife at the moment. Co-op have lined their shelves with dummy Ferrero Rocher boxes and have also had to display half empty bottles of ketchup. Brilliant, I just bought to you the other day the entire list of products under lock and key. Now we get to shop for half empty bottles of ketchup. This is unreal. What are you gonna do? And what are shops doing about it? Retailers will now pay the police to stop shoplifters with face scanning. Lovely. I'm sure the prices will go up to pay for this. Your face will now be scanned anytime you shop for Project Pegasus. This is so dangerous. This is all part of a ploy. I'm, I'm telling you, decriminalizing the shoplifting and now the shop owners have to pay for this. Someone say scam. This is bullshit. And the shops that aren't willing to pay the protection to the gang of police. Like I said the other day, they'll start taking matters into their own hands. But obviously, at a consequence. This week we had a crowd block the busy Peckham Road after a video shows a shopkeeper put his hands around a woman's throat for trying to steal from his shop. Good, well done to this man. As I've shown you on this show before, this is what happens. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Anyway, it's been made a racial issue again, even though this is a person of color and another person of color. Of course. And when it's not people who are acting like animals, is actually animals. Drunk raccoons for a taste of ale are breaking into homes all across the UK. Look at this, we've got an image of an actual offender caught in the act. He loves his lips around a bottle of lager. <laughs> anyway, speaking of lips, a woman with the world's biggest lips struggles to find love as men are intimidated by her. Intimidated, you got that right. I'd be afraid I'd lose it. You look like a Dyson. You look like you could suck a golf ball for a garden hose. Anyway, forget the lips. Have you not seen the eyebrows? Come on, love, meet me in the middle here. Anyway, she's not done yet. She's actually planned more procedures. Ugh. You need Michael. Stop it. Get some help. And speaking of weird women, a woman chest feeds her husband. Ay, ay, ay. What is going on here? Vegans, is this bothering you or is this kosher? Right. So what have we learned today? We are spending more money on a, another Bibby without actually using the first one. Rishi wants to be the PM until the end of the decade. Lord help us. If your council goes bust, don't worry, the leader will get a pay rise. Nobody gives a shit about crime and women are still pretty weird. Signing out.